The wave of protests continues in Yerevan with activists camping outside government and embassies buildings. The participants in the resistance movement have started a march from France Square in downtown Yerevan to the office of the European Union delegation to Armenia. Resistance movement coordinator Ishkan Sagatelian said on Monday that they are going to present all the violence that has taken place in Armenia these days. As opposition MP Aram Vartevanyan noted, on June the 3rd, stun grenades were fired at people in this area, in the immediate vicinity of the EU office. What is surprising is that the EU embassy does not talk about it, he noted. Vartevanyan later read the statement by the two opposition factions in the National Assembly, after which it was passed to Ambassador Anja Victory, head of the EU delegation to Armenia. The MP expressed hope that this statement will be properly responded to by the EU envoy. A delegation led by President Claire Bozzi Mollory of the Defense Commission of the Council of Europe will pay an official visit to Armenia from Wednesday to Friday at the invitation of President Armand Dilanian of the Constitutional Court of Armenia. This visit will be not only one of Moller's first official foreign visits, but also the first official visit by the head of the Venice Commission to Yerevan since 2018. U.S. National Security Council spokesperson Adrian Watson issued a statement on National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan's meeting Monday with Foreign Policy Advisor of Azerbaijan Hikmet Hajiyev. Sullivan conveyed the commitment of the U.S. to peace, security and prosperity in the South Caucasus region. Sullivan expressed support for talks hosted by President of the European Council Charles Michel. He conveyed the readiness of the U.S. to engage closely and support progress through a variety of means, including in our capacity as a co-chair of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, EOC, Minsk Group. There is information that Azerbaijan wants to ask the Russian side so that the Armenian clergy of Dadivank Monastery are replaced by the clergy of the Russian Diocese of Baku. According to Bishop Vertanes Abrahamian, primate of the Artsakh Diocese, this information is completely in line with Azerbaijan's policy pursued today. They do everything to bring what they want to fruition and remove our clergymen from Dadivank, he added. The primate of the Artsakh Diocese added that intensive talks are underway to resume the entry of Armenian pilgrims to Dadivank. The hunger strike of convicted leader of the Muslim Unity Movement, Taleh Bagar Zadeh, was supported by a number of other convicted believers in Azerbaijan. They are protesting against the use of torture in the police facility and the blasphemy of law enforcement officers, Tehran reported. Bagar Zadeh has been on hunger strike for the fifth day. He protests against the torture of believers in the police and insults by law enforcement officials to Allah. On May the 23rd, at a press conference, two religious activists who had been detained on May the 20th in front of the Baku Court of Grave Crimes said that the law enforcement officers had tortured believers and insulted Allah. The prison service remained unavailable for comment. Hungarian Foreign Minister Peter Shizharto agreed with the opinion of the Speaker of the Hungarian Parliament, Lajdo Kover, that Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has psychological problems. While tens of thousands of people are working in Hungary to help Ukraine and the Ukrainian people, Ukrainian politicians are constantly talking about Hungary in an unacceptable tone, provoking us, making up lies, and trying to smear us. Not a single word of gratitude has been uttered. Based on all this, Kover is absolutely right even if Ukrainians are outraged, he wrote on Facebook. Earlier, Kover said that Zelensky is struggling with psychological problems. Those who need help ask politely, insistently, of course, but always ask, never demand, and even less threaten. Usually, a person threatens his enemies, not those whom he wants to attract as friends, he noted, explaining this as a personal psychological problem of Zelensky.